All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was posted on Reddit about nine hours ago um, on the 1st of April, okay? So we got some big PvP changes here. Let's check it out. Um, all right, what do we got? We got player versus player changes. General, weekly rating inflation is now dynamically adjusted to compensate for periods of low participation. That This is a change that I've been wanting for a really long time, so I'm absolutely stoked about this one. Uh, it makes a lot of sense too, right? Um, it's one of those things where the current MMR system only really makes sense if there is a bunch of people playing. If there's not a bunch of people playing, then it feels like it doesn't go up quite enough. So this is something I actually talked about with Mez a really long time ago where he thought, you know, when participation is low, you buff up the uh, inflation even more, which makes it so people who are actively playing the game can still climb. Um, and kind of force people to play, you know, if they want to stay at the highest uh, part of the ladder. So that's an amazing change. Uh, Soul Shuffle, the deserted heap up for leaving a Soul Shuffle has been increased to one hour and is applied to all characters on the account. This is awesome too. Um, I feel like there is a problem right now where people have so many alts, they don't really care if they leave a game. So the fact that they would get like a one hour debuff um, and it would be applied to all of their characters might make them think twice about, you know, leaving a Solo Shuffle, which would be absolutely uh, uh, massive, I think. All right. Leaving a soul shuffle now uh, incurs an MMR penalty equal to the amount of subtracted CR. So this is an interesting one. Right now, it seems like people don't care about their, their rating that much because if you can keep the MMR high, you can gain back your rating really, really quickly. So the punishment of losing uh, you know, CR and no MMR uh, isn't great. I don't know if I like the fact that it's equal to be honest with you, because I think uh, I think one thing they're trying to prevent with that is smurfing. So like people, you know, they have like, imagine me and my alt mage. I don't care about my mage. I could just leave a game, wait an hour, leave a game, wait an hour, leave a game. I'm going to be down to zero MMR, zero rating, and I can basically just noob stomp, which is something I think they want to avoid. So I don't know if this is actually a good change, um, personally. Uh, in the event uh, that a player leaves a solo shuffle, all the other players are returned to an increased priority queue. Uh, I think this is fair. Um, depending on how many rounds played out, I think I think it's fair. If somebody leaves in like the fifth round and you got to play most of the game, uh, maybe not. But like if it's like your first three rounds, uh, I definitely think that that makes a lot of sense to me. You know what I mean? Like it, it happens so often where you sit in like a 45 minute queue and then someone just doesn't join and then you have to re-queue the whole thing or someone leaves after the first game or someone AFKs after the first game. It's, it's really, really annoying. So I think that's a great change. Uh, it is no longer possible for the same two players to be on the same team for more than two consecutive rounds. I'm trying to think if that mathematically is possible. Is it possible for that? I don't know how they would do that. You would have to switch healers every round. So like if you're a DPS player, you'd have to have uh, one healer, then the next healer, then one healer, then the next healer. I, I think that, I think it's possible. Maybe, is it? I don't know. I'd have to think about that more. It might be possible. You could swap healers every round. I don't know if you could, I guess you could. Yeah, you have to swap healers and your DPS partner every single game. Huh, interesting. I don't, I don't, I mean, okay. Maybe that prevents like uh, toxic lose streaks. Because something that does happen is Sometimes you get with a specific player, like if you're a healer, you'll have a DPS on your team. Sometimes you're a DPS, you have a healer on your team and you both lose every round, three rounds in a row. It's a really bad feeling. And then you have to kind of like battle it back from the brink of despair, you know? So I think if they did mix it up, um, healers were playing with different DPS every round. Uh, it would be, it would be, I think it would actually be a great change. Uh, field medics hazard payout. Now it contains significantly more gold and has a small chance to drop one of these three unique mounts. Wow. So they actually did it, guys. They're going to be adding a little bit of a gold reward for uh, people healing solo shuffle. And you have a chance to get a unique mount. So further incentivizing healers to play. And the more healers that play, the better the queue times are. So interesting. Uh, MMR gain for healers has been adjusted to increase healer representation to higher ratings. Okay, easier to gain rating as a healer, making it so people are more likely to play healer because it's easier to gain rating. Okay, interesting, interesting. Rewards, new seasonal ground mount has been added, the Reign of the Verdant Legend Battle blank. 
Okay, so they're adding a, a few more rewards. A ground mount for solo shuffle, I think that is, right? The Verdant Legends battle. So they're adding like, is that like a rank one title? I think they're adding like a rank one, uh, like mount, I guess. Thing. The legend achievement will now reward reigns of the, oh, okay, the legend achievement. So if you get legend, you get a battle bear instead of a pennant. That's cool, man. I don't think anyone really likes the pennant. So getting like a, a mount is kind of cool. New achievement added, double act, win 50 games at elite rating or higher in 2v2. At elite rating or higher in 2v2, you also get the bear. Okay. So they're like in, they're in uh, they're incentivizing people to play 2v2. So further incentivizing solo shuffle, incentivizing healer, incentivizing 2v2. Very interesting. Blades Edge Arena has been excluded from both the rated arena and solo shuffle map rotations. I I never get Blades Edge. I can't even remember the last time. I think Blades Edge has already been removed. So that's a weird change because I I literally can't think of the last time I got Blades Edge Arena. I actually don't think I've gotten it in weeks. So I, I don't know if it's already been like disabled silently, but yeah. Some environmental details have been removed and the ceilings elevated and some arena maps, cool. Uh, on some maps, it is possible to unintentionally place ground target abilities above the arena. This change has been added to address this. Yeah, like using your ring of peace on the side of the map. Good changes. The boundaries of uh, certain pillars lacking sufficient clarity have been uh, refined and adjusted. Nice. What do you guys think of the changes? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Keep in mind, these are April 1st changes. Oh, this is a cruel April Fool's joke. I'm so heartbroken. No, no. F off for real. Imagine we actually got these patch notes, though. Would people be happy? <laughs> I think they would. I completely forgot it was April 1st. I was actually applauding Blizzard and getting excited for PvP. And yeah, this got me uh, good. Well done, OP. Shit. This is the official April Fool's joke. Then it is a slap to your face. Wow. I fell for it because the changes are good. All of them, sad face, well played, sir. When a joke seemingly makes the game 10 times better. So, uh, tone deaf for an April Fool's joke that I sort of love. A complete slap in the face to those who are outspoken against deflation, but my God, they ruthlessly jerked the hell out of the PvP community. Oh my God, people didn't realize it was a joke, man. You gotta be on your toes. They say there is truth and humor. Blizzard got us. Little Timmy was looking forward to these changes. Yeah. This could be so easy. I'm not going to lie. I was about to head into an eight hour solo shovel ground. Thanks, OP. Got me. I, I yeah. These would, I, I actually think most of these changes would be really good. You'd love to see it, but maybe next expansion. Maybe next expansion. Maybe in season four. We'll have to wait and see.